All right, time for uh, game turn 46. We are now on March 5th. So that new grouping of events is going to start happening. should make things interesting. Uh, let's see. I have reset my artillery point. I really didn't use a whole lot of artillery on the previous day. I didn't really need it. Um, but uh, I reset that. I uh, gave myself a point of air strike and a point of naval. And uh, that gives me two of each. And then... Um, yeah, straighten everything out and we're we're ready to go. Uh, so first things, we do have an HQ phase. We do have the uh, replacement points phase. So basically, here's what's going to happen for 5th Division. Um, if you watched and you recall, basically I took two 5th Division um, <clears throat> regiments out. So that will give me two extra bonus points. And I have this guy here that needs to be healed and he's a two-step so he gets healed and that is it that's all that's happening I'm not giving anybody any replacement points down here um, I don't know if it matters I mean but I'm at 12 I don't want to fall below 12 because I just don't want to have that um, the restrictions of healing that come with falling below 12 points and again in the book uh, in the rules, currently it says 14, but in the rule uh, updates that Decision is doing and working through right now that I've reviewed, uh, they're changing that to 12. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, I don't know that I, um, I want to bring those down. So, I've got, I think, one unit in here or somewhere in here that's down at a two-step. Everyone else is at least at a three-step. Uh, and since I have these guys disrupted and I'm going to continue to, to work on them, I'm not, I'm not too concerned uh, with that right now. So let's just expend some points in 3rd Division and 4th Division. Uh, let's see. I got my Engineer. I'll expend an Engineer point. And that's all I have there. The NCO is good. Again, third's been doing all right since it's come back on the board. Uh, I don't think I have. Doesn't look like I have anybody in third that's even injured. Oh, there's a guy. No, wait, that's fifth division. Never mind. Um, yeah, they're all they're all full strength. Wouldn't be a video if I didn't knock something over. Yeah, so it looks like it looks like third division is is all full strength. I don't need to expend any points uh, here. I expended that one engineer point. That was the only guy that got hit. So I'll mark off my engineer point. That puts my engineers at what 18. So I'm doing plenty fine there. Um, all right, so now uh, fourth division. Let's see. Everything looks to be stacks of two down there. These guys, it's going to be important to make sure that they're healed up. All right, this guy right here is hit twice so we are going to flip him over grab a step loss and put it under him and that could be it just that one guy really yeah holy smokes okay so that's it just one point from uh, division four so that puts Division 4 at 41 points left, so they're doing plenty fine. So this 5th Division is having issues with that stupid uh, Big Black Hill. Alright, so 
Um, let's see, what else? Uh, garrisons. Let's see, do I have any garrisons? Do I? I can't transfer any units out of the fifth once again. Everybody else, everybody's in field of fire of black, so they're all kind of stuck there. Um, I can't garrison these because they're too far out from the headquarters. Um, oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, my headquarters expand, so um, my third division headquarters are now at uh, three distance, so this yellow position can be garrisoned. I've already got everything else. That's pretty much it for, uh, I think this is where, yeah, that's where the 21st is. Uh, so there's nothing else that expands out. Uh, I can't garrison that because it's in black field of fire. Everything behind, I've removed the garrison markers from uh, 23rd. That guy's not taken yet. Uh, 25th, that guy's not taken yet, 24th, yeah, so that's it, just one, one new marker. Alright, I think that's it for HQ phase. So, now we move on to our first event. Let's see what we get. Uh, 3-5, LVTA. Support. Okay. New event. Look we'll at it. Support sounds good. Support sounds like it's going to benefit me. Uh, OTA support. One extra three point barrage against any Japanese position within three hexes of a coastline hex becomes available. Coastline hex. Discard the event card when the barrage is made. Discard if not used by the end of turn. Coastal. Am I even near a coastal hex? I mean, can can these be considered, anything around it be considered coastal hexes? And it's a barrage. I really don't need it. I don't have anything that's near the coast that needs to be barraged. That blue position up there, I suppose if blue activates, and I lose my disruption here. Although it's not going to matter because it's not a close combat, so I don't need him disrupted to hit him. So really, that, that thing doesn't benefit me at all. Sounded good. Alright. Fire phase. Uh, yellow machine gun. Uh, blue tank. And then uh, brown regular. Alright. Let's look. Let's take care of black first. So, undisrupt. This guy is my cave, so he doesn't get undisrupted because he's not technically a black position. Um, and then these guys. Yeah, I'm going to take four hits uh, from them. And that was planned. So, one, two... Oh, that's only one guy. What the heck? So hold up. I thought that was two guys, so I'm going to expend another another point uh, for fourth division. Jeez, when I moved that guy down, I thought it was two guys. Where did I move him from? And why does he not have a buddy with him? 324s, 324s, is it my rifleman here? Yeah, it is. Did my rifleman? I think my rifleman was disrupted. That's why. Oh, look. And my rifleman. There we go. <laughs> well, that explains it. Alright. So that's another point. That brings 4th Division down to 39. Alright, well, that's what I get for looking at stacks of two. <laughs> Thinking that they're actual. Okay. Well. That stinks, because I thought I had two guys there. I thought I had eight surrounding. Now I only have seven. Uh, so it's going to be one, two, three, and then one of these guys. Oh, it's going to be my heavy weapons. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so step losses all around. Step losses and disruption markers for everybody. All right. One. And a disruption. I think I'm on yellow. Right? Yeah, there's green. Two, three. And a yellow disruption. And then four. And a disruption. All right, so that was four again. Uh, this is stacked four high uh, because a there are no more replacement unit or replacements uh, for Japanese, so I couldn't populate that fort. This guy existed; he got a depth from this fort, uh, but the maximum firing per stack is three. So that's three from him, one from him. So that's four total. One thing I forgot to do is culling. At the beginning, there's only one unit up here still because I've been surrounding them and knocking them out um, of the game. There are two depths, so we will take one of these depths, throw it back in sector three, and one of them leaves the game. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's the blacks. That's what they do. So now yellow machine gun. Are there any yellow positions that are occupied? No. Okay. Uh, blue. See, there's very few units left on the board. That's why, I mean, this game is almost over. Really. If I can take that position and this position and keep surrounding, there's no communication and anyone, you know, there's, there's no, it's all going to be movement. Uh, and really, I think, I mean... If I knock all of the units out, just flat out they're all gone, I don't even think I have to push across. Game's over. So let's try to do that, shall we? Maybe in a few turns. All right, so anyway, uh, back to that. No blue. That guy loses his disruption. And then brown. These guys will fire. It's a triangle. This guy is a triangle. So he will take a hit. And get disrupted. But that's the only one in brown field of fire. Okay, so I took a few hits that turn, but I had to. So that was Japanese fire. Now we are on the second event. Naval gunfire, my favorite event. Alright, so that brings my naval points from two to three. And now it's my turn to do some damage. Alright, let's go ahead and just because you have to do it at the right phase, uh, let's expend one of those. Uh, well, hold up. Maybe I saved those for the attacks on these positions. Now chances are this guy attacking here I'm probably not going to use it for this one because there's a good shot. This is either this is either a, a, a class one or a class two. There's a good sh chance that that hex is going to be blocked, uh, which means that the entire uh, attack is is uh, negated. But I will have revealed the fort, and that's really what I stand to do. Um, and so. That's fine if it's, it, it, honestly, if it's blocked, that's a good situation for me because these guys don't get hit, they just get disrupted. So I can handle that. Well, and they'll get hit the next turn, but they won't get hit and then hit again. Um, so I almost want that to be blocked. So then I can just start um, barraging. But this guy right here, maybe I bring some naval support in there because this guy, um, there's... He's a fort, so his strength will be doubled? I don't know. Uh, uh, fort strength is what it is, and then 
I'll get 11 attack on him. There's no units in there. So, it's really going to be, I don't even know that I'll need a naval strike there. Because I should be able to just hit the fort and, um, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. When, I think that's the first fort that I'm going to attack with no units in it. Uh, well, let's see. Let's go up here. Let's take care of this guy. Uh, we'll bazooka and machine gun him. He's a three. Tripled is nine. Doubled because of the training. So I need 18 strength. Uh, so it's just a matter of which guys I want to do it. Uh, sure. That's 11 strength. <clears throat> Those are the 225s. Yeah, so let's hit with these two. I have these two controlled, so he's got no escape. He's out of the game. Uh, and then we'll move these guys in their tanks. One, two, three. So they're in position to barrage next turn. That worked out. And again, I could freely move into here because there's no uh, there's no reserve unit, so I didn't have to do. Um, well, plus it was out of out of command, so uh, or out of out of communication, so couldn't get populated anyway. All right, so that happened. Uh, and move these guys along here, move these guys along the road here, um, and we'll continue along here. All right, heavy weapons, uh, I don't know, these 324s will move into here, this guy will move here, where's the other 224? Oh, he's over here. Why is he over here? Oh, he's with the heavy weapons. Ah. We're going to do this. We went one, two, and then moved another guy over here. Keep that whole grouping together. Okay. Uh, this guy needed close combat. <clears throat> um, bring my hero on him. That is. Yeah, we'll do this. Bring these guy, that guy up, and this guy and that'll give me four cards. Are these in the same? No, they're not. So hold up. I'd like to bring this headquarters. I think I can. Yeah, because they're disrupted. So I can do that and that. Jump him on top of there. I'll move him over here. No. Nope. Wait, 323, 323. Who's underneath here? I thought this was 323. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. That's 324. Well, where the heck are the other 324s? I do this all the time. Oh, they're right here. All right. Well, that's 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 fine. All right. Well, I got one 324 here. I got him. Where's his boss? Oh, his boss is right here. Okay. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's okay. We'll do that, and then we'll send this headquarters up here so we're not overstacked. I we'll just need to make sure we remember to separate them once they do that. All right, so that's going to be a close combat for uh, technically after after the turn is all over um, because I brought units from two different stacks in there. But I'm going to go ahead and do it now as I have been doing just because I've been known to forget. All right, so that guy is a hero. So that is, I got six... Six pips. So that is two cards plus a flamethrower plus a hero. That gives me four. He gets one for being 
one unit and one for being close combat. All right, and he was in, what color is this now? This is brown, right? That's where I am. I took it out of L12, yeah. All right, so brown. So I don't want to see brown here. No brown, good. All right, I just need one hit. Give me that sweet brown. No, nope. I got heroism though. That works for me, because that takes, uh, does that take a card from him? And give it to me? How does that work? Add a card to the pile revealing the card and remove a card from the other side. Perfect. So he has no more cards. So now it's just me. Nothing. He wouldn't hit me anyway. Nothing. Holy smokes. Nothing. Conscript Surrender. Come on. Give me a brown. <laughs> oh my gosh. That entire stack. There's no browns. There's no browns. No brown. No brown. No brown. Good lord. I had. I had. I had the upper hand. <laughs> uh, that was weird. I mean. I had it all, I mean, I got that heroism on the first, on the first uh, try, and everything was good, and then it wasn't. Alright, so this guy belongs here, and this guy was on his own right here, I believe, because he's alone, yeah. Okay, so, this, just like nothing happened, I just wasted like six cards. <laughs> That's the only thing that happened. All right, well, he's still disrupted. At least I got that going for me. All right, uh, so these guys, well, no, they just got hit. They don't lose their disruption, sorry. Um, these guys will lose their disruption. Uh, anybody else down here? No, okay. So you'll stay there. Well, these guys here will I don't want to move into this black field of fire just yet. So I don't want them to move there. So really, they're just going to move back here. I don't know why they were up there in the first place. All right, so nothing else I can do here. Uh, I might be able to move more units. Yeah, well, it's tanks, right? I want to move those tanks closer. So where can I get them? One, two, three. I can do that, can I? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Uh, we're gonna move these tanks along here. One, two, three. It's a little too close for comfort, but it'll do. Um, and then I need some units to go along with them. Uh, I gotta keep these guys together. I really want these guys over there. But if I hop over here, it'll be a double overstack situation. So I can. No, no I can't. Uh, how, how do I do that? Without overstacking this. I mean, I can move these guys back, but I don't really want to do that. Huh. I don't want to move... Well, I haven't used this. I want headquarters and I want riflemen. So I could move... Yeah, we'll take the 323s. And we'll move them up over that. We'll take these 323s and we'll move them over here with their parents. And then we'll move these guys in. Does it do me any good to move there? No, I'll move them here. Okay. Alright, 121s. Or 123s, excuse me. 123, where are my other 123s? They're over here and they're disrupted. Alright, so that's good. We'll move these guys in here. Uh, 
Okay. That's good. All right, so let's attack this now. All right, I got to figure out what this strength will be. This one will be easy. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that now because it's just one unit of attack. Um, just to reveal. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Shoot, that's going to hurt. It's open. Ouch. I hadn't contemplated that. I figured it would, well, this guy is uh, not in good shape. Okay. So that does mean I reveal the unit below, which is just a simple one strength naval guy. Uh, he does require flanking, however. Alright, so he gets the unit strength gets doubled because of the class. So that's two, and then it gets tripled because of the fortification. No, he's just going to get tripled. Because the most you can do is tripling. But I'm attacking over a bluff hexa, so it's, it's, it's one to one without weapons, so I'll end up going one to two. Alright, so it goes 1 to 2, it's ADR, um, all US units in the hex with the most steps are disrupted, alright, so that unit will get disrupted, that's fine, reveal the depth marker and recalculate the attack, ooh, okay, alright, so the depth marker is a 4, Out. so that's 5, triple is 15, to my eight, four, <laughs> 15 to four. So I am well below, so that's one to three after being uh, revealed depth marker. No effect, nothing happens. Japanese gain a depth marker. Well, he's already got a depth marker. Can he have another depth marker? What the heck is that? If this is a depth, D plus, Gain a depth marker, but it's already got a depth. Can a unit have more than one depth marker? That doesn't seem right. Well, something to look at the rules about. Yeah, so it's unclear. I mean, it, it the rules do state that uh, when it calls, when the game calls for adding a depth marker, it never talks about whether a stack can have more than one. Uh, but it says when you, when it's when you call it to add a depth marker, including from the the attack results chart. So. I, I got to assume that a D plus means that a unit that already has a depth can gain an additional depth. I don't know. Um, had I realized that, that's not how I would have played that. Um, but I've done it. So I'm going to say they can get a another depth marker. The question is, is this revealed? I guess it's not. So, okay. Well, at least my guy didn't get hurt. All right, so now these guys attacking that. Um, now here's where, I, you know, again, attacking a fort, and I gotta go back to the rules. I meant to look this up, and I forgot, I should have looked this up when I was off camera so that I didn't waste time here. Uh, but uh, fortification is treated as a unit. Reveal fortification marker, fortification markers revealed when US unit attempts to attack fortification. Flip it, orient the marker, yeah. Uh, obstructed, fort gains one unit and a depth marker from the reserve pool. If there are not any adjacent Japanese unit that is not already adjacent to a US unit is moved into the fort hex. Okay. There are none, so no units will move in there. Uh, triples the defense strength of any Japanese units occupying if it's a f uh, Fort Hilltop. Uh, doubled. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just going to be the strength of the fort against the strength of me. And if it's just a fort, if it's, it, it'll, it'll be a s single unit situation. Treat it like a unit, but forts can't just be flat out eliminated. So, so I don't know. Uh, I'm going to make another post to BGG and, and uh, see if they can explain this one too. I'm going to have to keep playing it. 
but uh, I'm going to take a quick a quick look at this again and see if I can figure this out. Okay, so it doesn't specifically say uh, whether <laughs> uh, how to attack it if it's just if it's just a fort. But what it does seem to indicate is it's got this reduction of fortification uh, section here. Um, and it talks about what happens when it's reduced. And then it has these two options, reduction by barrage, reduction or elimination by close combat. So it leads me to believe um, that that's the only way you can get rid of a fort is, is by barrage or by close combat. So uh, that said, I think that my best option here is to go ahead and, and to jump in. Uh, with these guys and do close combat. So that's what's going to happen. So uh, this could be any strength. Okay, it's a class two, and it's open on my side here, so I don't get blocked off. So this is happening. All right. So it's a black position. So the black color is green. Uh, I get three cards because I've got six strength and a flamethrower. That is one unit, so it gets one card. So, close combat. Wait a minute, does he get more than one card? I don't think so. Um, it's not a hilltop. It is a fort, though. It is a fort. Yeah, so I think that that's, that's one of the bonus conditions uh, is fort. And I haven't been using my cheat cards for many turns. But I think this is the best way to find this. Close combat, Japanese cards, one per unit depth, one if attacking, one each, one if fort, hilltop, or, yeah, so... It's a fort, so it'll get an additional uh, card on it. So that'll be two cards. So I want to see no greens. Got a green. I got a hit. I lose a card. Uh, all right. Ultimately, you know, this is all about revealing. So, I mean, it could be worse. Well, it could be worse. I could get another hit. Alright, uh, US fire is not counterattacking, so it won't do that. Alright, and then it fires. Same thing, US fire and counterattack, but no green. And then I fire, and I get no green. So I didn't do any damage on it. I didn't even disrupt it. Uh, which kind of sucks. It would be nice if I disrupted it, then it wouldn't have, I won't, it wouldn't attack next turn. But, small victory, it's revealed. So, those two positions are revealed, they're ready to get barraged next turn. I've got tanks in position to hit them from all angles, and they're good. This guy I didn't get the close combat on, so that is done. So now I move down to here, uh, and we're going to go ahead and barrage this guy. So. Uh, black position here is blue, so I want to see a blue triangle. I got a triangle, but not a blue. Um, it is a six plus, so that means I have a chance at a. Uh, I have a chance at a fortification um, reduction. So I want purple, yellow, or brown. I got blue, so it doesn't happen. So it is disrupted. Um, so that's good. The one underneath it isn't though, because it was just a symbol. So it's disrupt one. So um, the fort underneath it could still get a hit if I don't disrupt it with the other uh, tanks, but hopefully I will. All right, so that is a circle. So I want to see a blue circle. I got a blue triangle, and that disrupts all. So at least everything's disrupted now. Um, 
Oh, and I want to see a red, a blue, or a brown. I got a brown. Good. So that reduces the strength of this guy. So that's going to be a class three now. So that is this guy. We still haven't revealed the units underneath there, so I'm still going to have to attack them next turn. If I can barrage that. Okay. So those tanks are used, those tanks are used. No, it's these guys. No, that's not tanks. Where are my tanks? Is that them? Where's my third grouping of tanks? There they are. All right. So that's a triangle. So I want to see a blue triangle. Neither. Crap. All right. Well, I'm not attacking that next turn. Uh, I mean, I could. Well, I can't really enable browser. I should have done that. I mean, I can because I've been doing it. But I'm going to leave it as is. Okay. Uh, now, should I go ahead and go for this stupid cave? <laughs> I guess so. All right, so I got, well, that's five strength. Six, seven, eight strength. And 10, uh, 11, 12, and a flamethrower. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Let's overkill them. I'll overstack. Um, these are 327s. These are 127s. Oh, 327 guys there. 127 guys. That's fine. Okay, so I'll overstack this. I'll get my five cards. He'll have his one in his stupid cave. Or he'll have his two cards in his stupid cave. He's disrupted, so I just need one hit. So that's one, two, three, four, five cards for me. Two cards for him. The color is purple. All right, so no purples from you. Got a purple. All right, so I take a hit. It's gonna be the highest strength dude. Which that guy's three strength, that guy's three. Okay, so one of these guys is going to lose a step loss and flip and become disrupted. Uh, okay, and I lose a card. Come on, I just need one purple. Ugh, nope. All right, no purples, got a purple, dang it. So I lose a card, I take another friggin' hit. This guy is impossible to kill. So that is another step loss. So I got three units here now that are at two strength. Or, uh, okay. So he's out of cards. I just need one stinking purple. No. Come on, baby. Are you kidding me? How is this guy still surviving? How is this happening? This is insane. This is the third time I've close combated this guy and not been able to hit him. I have five cards. That is insane. All right. Well, these guys go back out to here. These guys are in sad shape over here. Uh, I don't understand how that happens. Cards suck. All right, well, that's that. Uh, I don't know, if, yeah, there's no other movement from these guys, so these guys are just gonna continue on up. Now, the problem is gonna be, I'm taking these positions here, they're gonna fall behind my line, but they're not garrisons, so if I get a, an infiltrate, well, no, I don't have any units, so I guess it doesn't really matter, so let's just keep rolling up. Really, I guess I just need them to advance on the brown. 
And this is the perfect spot to advance from because these brown are a uh, steady field of fire and not intense field of fire as they are up top. So that's good. Let's just do that. All right. Uh, okay. These guys are on a road, but their buddies are not. So let's go. We'll move. I don't know. Well, let's go destroy some artillery, shall we? Let's go one, two, artillery destroyed. I don't have any, yeah, I do have some artillery destroyed. All right, so that brings them down to seven. Uh, and then these guys will just, well, I'm gonna wait on those because I wanna use the road. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, One, two, three. One, two, three. That engineer should have been overstacked. I think I forgot to put one on him. Uh, all right, so those are the one nines and the two nines and the three nines. Um, before I move the two nines there, why don't I do this? I'll move these guys out on this road and then they'll hit up on in the purple and then these guys moved up. Uh, so I got my one nines together. Um, and these guys are kind of split up, but that's okay. They can still command. So I'll move these guys up here and then into here. Okay. Um, tanks moving along. These guys. That's one twenty one, so they'll move here, they'll move here. I'll move here. Uh, these guys here. These guys here. What did I say? These are 121s. Shoot. Okay, so I need to keep one, two, I guess these engineers can be stacked. That's fine. All right, so now my my 221s. No, those are 121s. Gosh, where the heck? Where are my other one division 121 guys? I do this every time. If something's covered up, I can't I can't tell. Uh, oh, they're down here. So hang on, I mean, well, they gotta, the tanks have gotta keep rolling on the road. So that's okay, I guess. These guys and those guys are close enough. All right, so 321, 321, 221, uh, 221 heavy weapons, one, two, all right, so they're moving along. I'm going to go ahead and move my um, headquarters, too, because they're not going to do me any good debt back there. So, actually, my 21s are, are okay. Um, these guys really shouldn't be rolling with this. I don't think I'm going to need them. So I'm going to keep them here. My nines are on the move. Heavy weapons, shoot. These guys can get on the move. Got to get rolling so they can get with their guys. I got twos, ones, and threes. Yeah, so this guy needs to be moving. So he'll be right here. Um, and then he won't be able to provide any 
because next next phase is midday phase, and so um, I can't I can't flip him over. So this is not ideal for when to move him, but when I I want to keep him with his guys. So that's he needs to be on the move. So these guys are all okay because they're with their their HQs, um, and their HQs can project out three spaces. So they're they're fine. Um, okay. Uh, now, anything I need to do with these guys? I don't think so. I'm still just waiting to, to pop the, um, the blacks and get those off. And then I can pull fit division back. So yeah, that's it. I think that's it. These guys are just advancing on brown. These guys sitting here in brown field of fire is not ideal, but um, I think they're where they need to be right now. Uh, right. So these guys lose their disrupt. No, they just got disrupted. So these guys, no, they just they got no. They didn't get hit. Okay, I tried to close combat with them, or I did close combat with them. Why are they disrupted? Ah, my memory is not good. I don't know why those guys are disrupted. I think they, well, everything else is this color now, so they're losing their disruption. Um, I don't know if I have any others underneath anywhere. That tends to be an issue for me, is not knowing what's underneath something. So far, it looks okay. Uh, yeah, okay. And then over here, those are all recently disrupted all around there. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, so I think that's it for my actions. And so now it's artillery. Uh, I got another artillery over here, so they're down to seven, so they're supplying two over to here, I believe, so that's only three, eight, so I don't take a hit in sector three, and then at least five over here, I got an eight, so somebody's taking a hit over here, and it is airfield closest to black position so it's going to be these guys here so they'll take a disruption okay that is that no raids uh we're good to go that's it for this turn see you next time